In this video traders, we look at the cool back spread. Hey traders, warm welcome to you. So the cool back spread is an option spread strategy where we are bullish on the underlying. We want unlimited profit potential, but we want to cap our risk. We want to do it in a little clever way. So unlike a call option, which was cap our risk at zero. If the option goes to zero, we don't lose any more than zero. And we have unlimited potential. We want to kind of adjust it and make the most money possible around a focus price and change the curve slightly. So a traditional call option would kind of flatten out down here at the risk that the price that we pay. We want to make this, this curve go up so that in actual fact, we think that if it really gonna go to zero, we don't lose anything. If it stays where it is, we want to be able to want to cap our risk at some point. And if it goes up to the stratosphere, then great. So that's the kind of thing where we think, you know what, something is going to happen. We actually think that more likely the bullish thesis is going to occur, but we also think perhaps the bearish aggressive thesis will recur. But if it stays in the middle, we don't think that's going to occur. But we want to cap our risk anyway. So that's kind of how we would why we would structure the call back spread. So to produce this, we'd sell one in the money call, we'd buy two out the money calls. Um, and like I say, we've got unlimited profit on this, but we've got capped risk. It's a bit of an odd ch chart, but you can see in a minute why this works and an example that we'll put on the board now for you guys. Okay, so imagine stock XYZ, it could be anything, but we'll use it as stock in this example, trades at 43 bucks. And we pick an expiry, and again, that could be uh, a week, it could be a month, it could be three months, it could be three years, whatever it may be, whatever options contract we're trading, as long as the expiry is the same. So at expiry, we wanna see what happens and how much money we're gonna make or lose for different strike prices or different expiry prices compared to the strikes we buy and sell. So we're selling our in the money call, which is our 40, dollar call because it's currently trading at $43. So in the money is basically a call that is below the current price because it has some intrinsic value and it's got some premium as well. Uh, and we're selling this at $400. So it's priced at $4. One con options contracts 100 shares. So we receive $400 for that, we, we are the other side of the deal. Someone's paying us $400 for that. And don't forget it's $300 worth of intrinsic value and $100 worth of premium. Fine. Now we've got $400 in our pocket. We now then buy two 45 calls, which are out of the money. Of course the current price is 43, so this is out of the money. And these are costing us $200 each, each contract. We buy two of those, so it's $400. So our net on the whole deal is zero, dollars okay because we've received 400 we've paid out 400 but we've got this position now so what happens in various scenarios so let's imagine now that the price um just moves up a little bit so it moves up to 45 what actually happens there well this is actually our max loss point 45 okay because uh what would happen at 45 well the 40 call that we sold would have 500 dollars worth of value which is not very good for us because we've already sold uh, this thing. So we actually have a $500 loss on that because it's now worth $5 times by the 100, that's $500. Well, that's the value of the options contract. Don't forget we pay 400 for that. The 45 call is worthless. So theoretically, we've only lost uh, $100 on that because we were short of 400, so we lost $100. But let's not forget that we've also lost the full amount of these two 45 calls we bought, 200 bucks each, 400. So we lost the 400 plus the $100, we lost $500. That's a maximum loss we can take. And we can prove that by a little book and a little bit further. So if we go, let's say we go down to $40, this is where it gets more interesting because the 40 call that we sold is worthless. The 45 calls that we bought are also worthless. So we've lost that 400 bucks there, but we've also made that 400 bucks from the short call being worthless. So both worth zero, we get zero, we paid zero. So the, the, the chart starts to go up to zero here. So anything below 40, you can see they're both worthless. So even if it's 10, so this then caps out at zero. We can't lose any more, we we're gonna lose zero regardless of how low that stock price goes. Okay, so we've seen now that the max loss is at that 45, which is the call that we bought, where that expires worthless, that, that affects the formula the most. Uh, what happens, let's say, at uh, $50? So $50 is prices going up. We're right on the deal. Uh, it's gone from 43 to 50. What happens there? So the 40 call has got $10 worth of value. It's a thousand bucks with times 100. Uh, the 10 times 100 shares, one contract. 
The 45 call um, is worth $5, right? So $500, we've got two of those, so we've got $1,000 in that. So we've got $2,000, but don't forget, we were short. Unfortunately, we were short that 40 call. So we've lost $1,000 on the 40 call. We've got to pay that out to the buyer of that contract, but we make the $1,000 uh, on the 40 five calls because it's gone up by five dollars we're going to exercise that contract and claim our 500 times two and net is zero and you can see that's with the chart now as well so we've got this part of the deal uh, all sorted out now the good stuff is where we want to make the money is what happens above that and let's have a look and let's go to example of 70 so if we're at 70 dollars a share these are these are both going to have good intrinsic value the 40 call is going to have three thousand dollars worth of value because it's 30 bucks the 45 call is going to have two and a half thousand because it's uh 25 dollars uh, value. Now, the good thing is we bought two of these, so we're making 5,000 on that. We've lost 3,000, so five minus three is 2,000 net profit on that. And you can see as we go up, every $10 we go up, we're gonna make an incremental amount of money. Uh, and so what this does, guys, is it allows us to uh, cap our loss uh, within a certain range. It means that if something catastrophic happens to the downside, we don't lose anything, it's a free trade. If we have a really good upside, uh, excessive move, we're making incremental money as it goes. And you can see on oh, this, this line will just keep going up and up and up. So it gives us unlimited profit. This thing goes into the stratosphere, we're fine. What we don't want is for it to stay in the same area. Anywhere in that same area, we're losing money. So it's up for us to pick how wide we want to do the calls. It's up for us to see how much those calls are costing us, how much the deal's costing us, and what our thesis is. But that's the call back spread, guys. An unusual chart, but it's one of those where you know we want the big payout if we're really, really right. If we're really, really wrong, we don't want any payout. But if it sits in the middle, we don't think it's gonna sit in the middle, we think it's gonna do something or another. Um, but if it does, at least our loss is capped in this example at 500 bucks. Take care, whatever you're doing out there, especially if you're options trading, good trading, bye-bye.